Hey friends, so how many of you remember way, way, way long time ago, right when you very first started going to school, we started talking about something called 3D shapes. Does anybody remember that? Yeah. So we are going to, this week you might have some worksheets that talk about different 3D shapes. And so I just want to go over what they are called and then also a fun game that we played in class that you can play again at your house. Actually two different games. So on this one, what shape is that? Who remembers? This shape is shaped like a ball. It's a sphere. Say sphere. Good job. And this shape, it's a square on all sides. What shape is that? A cube. And this, it's round all around, but then the top and bottom are flat. And the top and bottom make circles. Do you know what shape that is? It's a cylinder. So we have sphere, cube, cylinder, and then this one is a rectangle. Now remember, a rectangle is longer than a square, so the sides are longer. And this has a rectangle on all sides except at the top and the bottom, it still makes a square. And that is called a prism. Can you say prism? Good job. So we have sphere, cube, cylinder, and prism. So those are the names of the shapes that we are talking about. And there's one more shape that wasn't on here. Here, it's on this worksheet. This one, the triangle, it's actually round all around, and then on the bottom it makes a circle. And that is called a, who remembers? A cone. All right, so those are our shapes. And so for your activity today, I have a challenge for you. I want to see what you can find in your house that's a 3D shape. So I found a dice. And this dice is shaped like, what shape? A cube. It's a cube because it has squares on every side. And then you might also find different shapes in your house like a cone, an ice cream cone, a cone that you might use for sports, or a birthday hat. Those are all shaped like a cone. So you can see what you can find in your house that is shaped like a spear, a prism, a cylinder, a cone, or a cube. So see what you can find and see if you can figure out which category it belongs in. And then you can even play a game where you guess which ones will roll. So you can choose something that, um, choose something that is one of those shapes and then you can see, you can guess if you think that it will roll or if you think that it will slide if you were to uh, put it at the top of a ramp. And some of you might remember we played that game at school and it was a lot of fun. And so just an additional for fun activity. It is optional, but if you, that'd be a fun game to play if you have a chance is to see if you can play that again with objects from your house. Alright, and that is all for our math this week.